שלום וברוכים הבאים לסרטון חדש. שלום וברוכים הבאים לשכתום צבש. Hello guys, what's up? Welcome to a new video. This video was not planned, okay? I posted yesterday my reaction to the song for Israel for Eurovision and this was a really special reaction for me and as soon as I posted it, I started receiving so much support and so many comments from you guys about this song that I was really moved. I was in my bed before sleeping, scrolling down through the comments and I was getting so emotional, I almost started crying from all the love you guys showed me and I don't think I deserve it. So yeah, I wanted to dig a bit deeper into the song and see what is the real meaning and also to make this video to send a big thank you to all of you and also a big hug, uh, a lot of love from here from Spain. Um, so I want to read some comments, I also want to read the lyrics and try to find out what it means. And I also want to create a conversation down there in the comments. Tell me what you think the meaning is, how you feel about this song. Also, if you want to say anything to the people watching or to myself, you can do it in the comments. You can also follow me on Instagram. And if you are not subscribed yet, please make sure to subscribe down there because it will mean so much to me. Um, and if you haven't watched the reaction, of course, go to my channel and watch it because then you will understand more or less where we are, okay? We have a picture of beautiful Eden Golan here. I think it's Eden Golan, so I'm gonna say it right. And I wanted to read some comments first. Thank you so much because we are in 35,000 views in less than one day. I think this might be my record, honestly. But, you know, I love you so much. I love Israel. I want to go there soon. So I hope this is possible. And you see all the comments you put here, they are making me so emotional. I really had tears in my eyes last night, but... Stay strong Israel, my heart is with you. We'll be voting my full points for Israel. Best 2024 Eurovision song based on the truth. This is true. And I think it's one of the best songs. The, the fact that it has such a deep message and a deep meaning makes it priceless, absolutely priceless. I can tell you that everyone who lives in Israel hears this song and breaks down inside. I hope anti-Semitism uh, beat, doesn't beat Eden's talent because she deserves to win. Israel deserves to win. Unfortunately, Eurovision is a very political uh, TV show. So we don't know what will happen, but in our hearts and in my heart, Israel is the winner this year. Um, so yeah, and I can imagine, I was watching the song and listening yesterday with this very special vocalist and voice from Eden, Eden Golan, sorry. And I can imagine everyone from Israel tearing up because I almost do. And I'm, I'm from Spain, okay? Like I don't, I didn't live what you lived in October. Thank you so much for not boycotting Israel. You got a new follower and thank you for your kind words. I don't understand this whole boycott campaign they are, they are building ar uh, around Israel, you know? I really don't get it. I think the, if you have a right, it is the right, the freedom of speech and the right to communicate how you feel, no? And they are trying to steal that from you. I think that's absolutely insane. Insane. Because actually this song by Eden Golan is Hurricane, but the first uh, name was October Rain. Uh, we all know what happened in October. Um, so the, the original name was October Rain and they had to change the lyrics a couple of times due to complaints from Eurovision that it was too political. Again, it's a bit disappointing that we live in a world like this, but we do. So yeah, uh, I guess uh, they, they made a masterpiece anyway. They changed the lyrics and now we have this song Hurricane that is still so powerful and so good that we are going to read the lyrics. We have here beautiful Eden Golan. Uh, writer of my symphony, play with me, look into my eyes and see. People walk away, but never say goodbye. Someone stole the moon tonight. They stole everything. They stole happiness, the moon. Took my light, everything is black and white. Who's the fool who told you, boys don't cry? Hours and hours and powers. Life is no game, but it's ours while the time goes wild. It's ours until somebody takes it from you. 
Every day I'm losing my mind, holding on in this mysterious ride. Holding on the tears, the sadness, the anxiety, all the feelings that you probably are feeling right now. Dancing in the storm, I've got nothing to hide. Take it out and leave the world behind. Baby, promise me you hold me again. This freaking line here always breaks me. Because look, I haven't lost anyone in a while. But I'm just putting myself in your shoes. And when this, when Eden Golan sings this line, I'm like, don't you say it. <laughs> don't you say it because it hurts. I can't imagine how, how you might be feeling. I just want to show and send you all my love and support in these moments. Um, and I think this song is a great vehicle for it. Even though people might try to boycott it or to create like an anti-Israel campaign, whatever, okay? We are way above that, really. We know the truth and we know, um, yeah, we know where we stand. I'm still broken from this hurricane, this hurricane. By the way, somebody commented on the video that the song from last year, Unicorn, was also about this conflict. And I just didn't notice. Like living in Spain, you don't really realize what you are listening to sometimes. But Unicorn is also a song in this same... Well, it's not about the October events because they hadn't happened yet. But it's also when you read the lyrics again, you realize some hints here and there. And they made uh, both Noah Kirel and uh, Eren Golan, this one, they made a version of the song Unicorn, a more acoustic one. Thank you, somebody commented that I should listen to it. Thank you so much for the one who did it, because I listened to it and I am in love with this version, okay? You need to go and listen. Living in a fantasy, ecstasy, everything is meant to be. We shall pass, but love will never die. Okay, love will never die. The same, every day I'm losing my mind, holding on in this mysterious ride, dancing in the storm, I've got nothing to hide. Take it out and leave the world behind. Baby, promise me you'll hold me again. I'm still broken from this hurricane. And then it ends with this line. And it means, no big words, just prayers. Even if it's hard to see, you always leave me one small light. That's the moment when she's looking up. She's looking to God. And I said in the video, she's looking to the people who passed away. Who were killed, sorry. And she's saying these, these words, prayers. If it's hard to see, you always leave me one small light. It's telling God that even in the times that everything seems so out of control, that love, ha uh, God has left you and there is nowhere to go. You are in defense, defenseless. God is still there. He's always around, you know, he's always next to us, even in the darkest moments. And it's a beautiful phrase in Hebrew that sounds like this. No big words, only prayer. No, not like this, like this. Bli milim gdolot rak tfilot afilu im kashe lirot tamid ata mashir li or echad katan. How am I gonna say this? <laughs> Six and a half hours later. I wanted to try to say this, but the Hebrew transliterator doesn't give me any vowels. And then I remembered that in Hebrew there are no vowels. So, I'm gonna start learning Hebrew, that's the conclusion here. Look, then this is the lyrics of October Rain, I'm not going to go into detail, because then YouTube can silence this video and all that, because of you know what already. So, I'm gonna just interpret some images that we saw on the music video. This is Eden Golan, you see, beautiful, but she has a hole on her t-shirt. And this shook me when I was watching and I thought, Wow, this is a cool original top. But then I read in the comments, somebody said that this is the bullet hole. And then I thought, damn, makes sense. So there are a lot of signs on the lyrics on the video that point into the same direction. Okay, so here is one. Then I wanted to ask you guys to help me in the comments if you know what this means. This part of the music video was a bit confusing to me with these people um, surrounding her. I don't know if they are peacekeepers or the whole opposite, you know, the complete opposite. So, do you know what this 
circle of people means in the in the music video and then this is a uh, upside down tree and they're all looking up to it i think it's in memory of uh the the ones who were killed uh, in october it's you see it's an upside down tree when you watch the video it's it's much clearer that there is an actual tree upside down here it just looks like some branches you know but anyway um i wanted you to tell me now in the comments what is your opinion of the song although we already discussed it on the other video but i just want to say that thank you all so much for your support i don't think i deserve any of this you know really i don't deserve your support or your love you deserve mine and just because i made a video and gave my opinion doesn't make me anything i just don't understand why people are always following the other current like against what i'm positioned at um i just don't understand i think it's trending or whatever to go against it but i just don't understand I made a video reaction to Eden Golan's song and of course I wanted to show my support to those who deserve it and I think you all deserve my support. I wish things were different. I trust and I trust God that this will be different very soon. And you, we just gotta stay strong, you know. Uh, we have each other and you can also reach me on Insta. I am a little more reachable there. So you can go there and follow and send me a message. I would be so happy to, to read it. But yeah, I hope you enjoyed this little video. We can also have a little conversation down there in the comments if you want. And I wish you the best for the contest. But you know, it might not be the case because there's a whole campaign, propaganda. I don't understand why, honestly. Anyway, no say. Love you all people from Israel. I hope to visit your beautiful country soon. I would love to learn Hebrew. Well, the hearts. <laughs> I hope to learn Hebrew also very soon. It would be so cool just to be able to read this. Like, these letters, I want to read them. <laughs> I would love to be able to read them. Anyway, and thanks again for all your support. Really, you made me so emotional last night and I wanted to give back somehow. And I hope this video makes you a bit happy. You know that a lot of people like me watch and listen to your song and are moved inside and think about you and pray about you pray for you a lot of people are praying for all of you who are suffering and i want to also show my gra gratitude and also my love for you all who are suffering and are of a kind heart and i know you are so yeah I, it's time to say goodbye now i guess i don't want to cry before i leave so Hope you enjoyed the video thank you again so much for all the support and the kind messages that i'm receiving i just hope i can give you back at some point see you soon and thank you bye